This is the RFA Fresh Spring, also known as the SS Fresh Spring. Uh, this is a project I've been working on in Stormworks for about a year now, so I thought I'd make a video about it, uh, doing a little, um, I guess you say, an update. Um, just showing you guys around, uh, showing what uh, work progress I have on it, and other things like that. Might make it weekly depending on how much uh, progress I can get uh, done on it after this, but um, regarding that, it's like you're old now. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. So, uh, if not, I'll probably just uh, post them in my Discord, which you can find in the link below. Uh, you'll also find a link to the Fresh Springs Trust. Um, they're actually the ones restoring the ship uh, in real life, as it is a real ship. Um, their videos and pictures have been great help in actually getting this thing to look right. But uh, yeah, we'll get onto the deck, uh, move away um, from the front to the rear, and then down. Front forecastle, uh, we have the windlass heater. This is mainly used to actually bring up and down the anchor. Multiple uh, um, points for tying it down uh, if you need to do that. Uh, steam valves dotted around as it's a steamship. More details, uh, not really important though. We'll head down this doorway. Now right here would actually be the bathrooms and other um, storage areas. I don't have those details, so ignore them for now. Down here is a staircase. Uh, this goes down to the crew uh, quarters. Uh, mainly the mess hall, um, just where they would eat their food or just hang out. We we'll have a small heater heater. And we also have the quarters here where they can sleep, uh, get dressed, or really anything else like that. Up here is a hatch that goes to the deck, nothing really there. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, mess hall and quarter area. So up here we have the main reason why the fresh glass or fresh ring was actually built. Uh, these hatches go down to the water tanks where fresh water would be uh, held. Uh, this would be used for drinking, well, maybe not drinking, I'm not really sure about that, but uh, it would definitely be used in boil or feed water as you wouldn't want to use seawater. Uh, you get scaling and then uh, your boilers basically not going to work. Uh, moving on, we have the captain's quarters, or what I think is the captain's quarters. Um, I haven't really updated this much in uh, a couple of months, about eight months maybe. Yeah, this ship's taking a long time. Mainly because I've been redoing everything, but uh, let's not talk about that. We just got some desks, uh, a coat hanger, a heater, a bed, and a bench. As well as a temperature gauge if you needed that. Nothing much there, uh, let's move on. Uh, we'll get down to the boiler room and the engine room later. At the rear here we have another hatch that goes down to the water tank. I don't have the hatch on there right now so you can just look down there if you really wanted to. Uh, through this door is the galley, uh, or we're supposed to be the galley. This is where they would cook their food, which they would then bring down to wherever they need it. Uh, this is one of the officer's uh, quarters. I don't know what it looks like, I haven't seen any pictures of it. Back here we have a little piece here that connects to the rudder. Uh, I'm guessing you could use this uh, as a auxiliary uh, system in case the rudder goes down. Uh, countless vents all over the places. And that's really the main deck uh, simplified. So we'll go up to the bridge. Up in the bridge, you'll see that it's mostly taken up by this huge green thing right here. Uh, this is a steering engine. Uh, it's basically a steam engine to pull all the pulleys and chains and whatever to actually turn the rudder. As you can see, I have some controls here which aren't hooked up yet. Also has a wheel on it, just in case you want to use that instead. Uh, here we have the telegraph and the speaking tubes. Um, I'm not sure if there's actually two telegraphs in here, but for now I have two of them. 
probably going to remove this one. But as I said, there's not really a lot of uh, reference photos I can actually use on the ship. As most of them are either too low resolution or there's just not any of them. Moving up, this is on top of the bridge. Uh, there are some solar panels here, which the Freshman's Trust use to power their tools and other systems. I will probably remove this when I actually get the ship finished, if I ever get it finished. But yeah. Down this hatch here behind, or right next to the funnel, uh, goes down to where the, the top of the boiler is. Nothing there right now, but there would be a bunch of valves to actually open up the boiler so you can actually use it. Back here is where the uh, lifeboats would be. I don't have the cranes or cantries, whatever you want to call them, down yet, as well as the deck. So it's kind of bare bones right now. Moving on, we'll move on to the boiler room. Uh, it's down this hatch right here. Uh, there's not a ladder yet, so I'll have to add that in later, of course. Uh, dropping down and probably breaking our leg. So there's a lot of systems in this little tiny packed area. You have your uh, feed water pumps, which actually pump water into the boiler. And you have your fuel oil service pumps. These would pressurize and heat up the oil before it actually goes into the burners. Not everything is hooked up. Um, as I've said, there's not enough reference photos for me to pipe everything up, but I'll try my best. So it's uh, three furnaces, of course all uh, fuel oil. But uh, yeah. Uh, moving on to the engine room. Uh, we'll get into there. Up here on the deck, uh, there would be a blower fan here. Uh, which would actually blow air into the boiler. I don't have that down yet, so that's probably going to be uh, one of the priorities. Uh, moving down here is the main engine, or at least the top of it, follow it's really foul. Uh, I might do more, some more detailing on top of this engine, just to make it look a little bit nicer. But of course, not top priority. Uh, dropping down is the start of the engine room, uh, from what I can piece together from any videos or pictures. Uh, of course, there's more paint errors everywhere, uh, just ignore them. So, we've got a lot of pipes and machinery. I am going to replace these pipes with some mod ones, just so they don't take up as much weight. Over here, we have one of the pumps. Uh, as far as I can tell, this is for the salvage pump. Um, in case you need to wash the decks or put out fires, whatever you need to do. Moving on, we have the main triple expansion steam engine. I built this on a little time lapse uh, a couple of weeks ago. If you want to go check that out, we also have the reversing engine here. A uh, little mock up there. Um, of, of course, there's not a lot of space here, so I'm gonna have to watch your head and your side. Uh, right here, this little system, I think it's some kind of oil uh, water separator. Not really sure, but there's a lot of copper or small pipes going into it. Uh, right here we have the telegraph, so we have full and half, slow, 10 voice pipe, a bunch of other controls, things like that. We have the main power junction box, or some switchboard as well as the main dynamo. Uh, this supplies all the power to it when it's actually under steam. Of course, uh, there's still a lot of paint uh, detail I have to do. A lot more piping I have to do. Um, basically anything on the floor here is kind of done-ish. These are just some random uh, valves and whatnot that I've seen in videos and pictures. So if I can get better pictures of that, or what, he, what they even are, um, I will definitely add that, or make it, even make them work. But uh, yeah, moving on. This is the main condenser. This turns any steam uh, from the engine that is exhausted uh, back into water, which can then be pumped back into the main boiler uh, through the use of the pump. 
but at the moment there's nothing really down here yet. Uh, there will be a loads of pumps and other types of valves and pipes. But of course, it's all a work in progress. This engine room has probably been redesigned currently about three or four times. As I said, this uh, this project has taken a long time, so be patient, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's really all I have for this video. If I get any major progress, I'll make a video next week or the week after that. If not, then you don't get a video. But uh, yeah.